Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. Monday morning, sitting over here with my receiver. I've been there, I can't even see. Oh goodness. 42 minutes. I got here two hours early. Of course, if you leave yourself enough time, then traffic just flows, right? And they won't let me even consider a dock till 1230, half hour before my appointment. It is what it is. And of course, company's got me a backhaul lined up. Now this place is notorious for taking two, three, four hours. And I have a one o'clock appointment. They have me picking up a load 16 miles away by three o'clock. I didn't even respond. You know, like we talked about last week, I tell them I don't see it happening. Which on this, I don't see it happening. I don't think these people are all of a sudden going to change their MO and start out a little fast. Why would they do that? They've been letting them get by with it for so long. That uh, they'll continue to do so. But there ain't no need me saying nothing, so I ain't going to. <coughs> so, anyhow, the uh, owner of the company called me back this morning from last week. We had a little talk. Now, basically, me paraphrasing is uh, he basically said that this is the direction the company's going and you deal with it or you don't and uh, maybe for me a local job down by the house would be better that ain't word verbatim or nothing. He didn't have an attitude. He allowed he didn't want to lose me and all that. It had been a good couple of years. I've been here over two years. You know, but when I signed on, he was wanting to, uh, he said he was going to be staying small. And uh, now he ain't. You know, now he decided he wants to get big and go to the next step. All right, good luck to you. I don't want to get big. I don't want to be with a big company. So, and to me, the main thing was that I reach out and touch base with him. We've had a good rapport. It ain't like I hate the company and all that. By no means. You know, yeah, there have been trucking nonsense where it got aggravating. That's trucking, and I don't care whose name on the side of the door, that shit's going to happen, period. It's trucking. So, but it gives me a clear conscience to move on and start looking at other stuff, which I shall do. So... It is what it is. Got uh, some feelers out. I've got a few things I'm looking at. So now I just start pushing it a little bit more. And it ain't like I'm in a hurry. So, which that's one of the things in trucking is drivers get mad. I've told you this before. And they quit a company and uh, now they put themselves in a bind where they have to get a paycheck coming in. I don't play it that way. I like to uh, have something lined up before I go. So, it is what it is on that too. 
glad you picked up your trash. I was wondering if you would or not. And he did. Oh. Uh, did not get to check out the shirt deal. Although one of my, my number one and uh, number two, well actually number two caller called me this morning and he conferenced in as number one. And she wants a, a t-shirt. Now number two, he was telling me that I should put more on there than two dollars to me. Oh, you already put your own pot on. I, it's not about the money, folks. It really ain't. I mean, that's like YouTube. Yeah, there's chump change that can be made off of YouTube. That ain't that ain't what I'm about. I hope folks understand that. So, but now whatever her price is, I'll have her tack the two bucks on. Uh, now on Stormy's deal, I'll see about going ahead and which we need to talk again Jim Stormy so I can make sure I know what she wants I don't want Jim's version I want Shorty's version or Stormy I, I had a friend in Georgia her name was Shorty I want Stormy's version and I want her to tell me what size she wants now hers when I go talking to the people if this all works out But uh, I'm going to have a, a few of them made for me and Mama and uh, Little Joe and just to see what they're going to look like. And I'll probably have Stormy one made. And she wants me to sign it. So I'll see if Grandma has some kind of non erasable felt pen type thing. And I'll sign yours for you, Stormy, and send it to you. So, but you make sure you have Jim call me or have him give you my number and let's talk and see what you want. So, uh, it is what it is. Oh, goodness. Other than that, it's been a Monday. Grandma's doing her thing. She got out there and swept the patio off. We got pine trees with that nonsense falling off of them. So she was getting that swept up. Looking for, uh, we got hummingbirds starting to come around. We had two humming, three hummingbird feeders, I think. And we stopped by a resale place the other day and they had a couple so she got a couple more and on top of that they had flower pots so she got her some new flower pots uh, we'll see how that all works out for her oh well, she did try and fix stuff up I told her to watch for a metal ashtray to go out there, but uh, I doubt that she finds one. It's hard to find ashtrays, much less metal ones. So, it are what? Anybody got a metal ashtray? A couple of them actually go on the metal side. What do I do when I get to the wooden side? I don't know if I want a wooden ashtray. That's a thought. But anyhow, Grandma's doing Grandma stuff. Out and about, getting meds for the old man, for Scrubber. Getting the uh, summer flea pills. Damn, them things are expensive. We've tried just about everything you can imagine. And I forget what the ones are. That's as far back as it goes, Hand. 
Uh, she gets some from the vet. They're around ten dollars a pill, more or less twelve dollars, whatever. I think she said she last she remembers she paid like seventy bucks for six of them. What are they, centrus or something? I forget. But, slept pretty hard last night. Woke up a few times and just made myself roll over and go back to sleep. I got all but eight hours. Oh, which is unusual for me. But I liked it. I can do eight hours. Uh, no. This load they got me picking up is through JB Hunt. They want me to use macro point. No. They want to use my phone to track me. No. I just ain't doing it. You need a hand? Driver. You need some help? Okay, ignore me. Right in front of me, I know you could hear me. Uh, let me get out and see if he needs help. See, now that right there is why we don't try to help people. Get out and ask him if he needs help sliding tandem. Then he goes off on me. Telling me all he needs me to do is help him uh, mind my own business. <laughs> I said, I didn't want to know if you need help sliding tandems. I just need you to mind your own damn business. I said, you about a rude motherfucker, ain't you? Oh, I'm a motherfucker. I'm a fucking nigger. Fuck you. All right, fuck you. Ain't too often I go off on people like that. Now back your truck up and hit me. Go ahead. Please do. I don't get it. Fucking assholes. And then people are, oh, did you offer to help? Why offer to help when you get like that? All right, I'm going to let you go. I got to calm down. He doesn't got my anger up. Sorry about the language. Remember, God loves you and so do I. People like that, I ain't got nothing for them. Enjoy your life. Oh, wow. I cannot believe that shit. See y'all later.